jiggy with it. Thank you so much, Jeff. Wow. How are you guys feeling? Awesome. My name is Oscar. I'm one of the founders of Thimble. With me tonight in the audience are my co-founders, David Brenner and Jack Greco. You guys are amazing. Through a monthly subscription program, we are providing a simple way to teach kids the fundamentals of science, technology, engineering, and math. And we're doing that through a box with parts that you receive in the mail every month, and I'll go into that in a little bit. We're inspiring the next generation of inventors and innovators. After graduating from college, I worked as a college admission officer. While I was there, I was introduced to the maker movement, which you've heard a little bit about today. And let me tell you, I witnessed students building some of the most amazing things I've ever seen. Robots, quadcopters, rovers. Not only things being built in the classroom and the labs, but in their garages and backyards. And it dawned on me that there is a whole world of kids out there with the same aspirations, but without access to the resources to bring them to life. In fact, jobs in computer systems and interactive electronics are projected to grow 20 per 30 percent by 2020. And despite the good STEM programs and coding programs out there, most of the 135,000 schools here in the U.S. do not have the modern training, tools, or curricula to teach these students the necessary skills to succeed in the digital economy. So we're stepping into the 60 billion education technology market to teach students the fundamentals of electrical engineering and coding right in the comfort of their own home. Introducing Thimble, a monthly subscription. Each month you receive an orange box in the mail with all the parts you need to build a specific kind of device. It could be a compass. It could be a Wi-Fi robot. You can even build a quadcopter on your own kitchen table in just a few hours. No experience necessary. This is an example of one of the projects we delivered in March, it's an LED cube, which if most of you hang out afterwards, you'll be able to see it um, in the presentation. But this is a project that we delivered. Every project has a little postcard with what the project will look like after you've soldered, programmed it, and completed it. On the back, you'll find the inspiration for the idea and some fun facts. And on the right-hand side, instructions that prompt you to our website. Each box has a little sticker. This particular box has a microcontroller, which the kids will eventually program to make their projects do something fun. Then you'll have some off-the-shelf components, like a USB cable, electrical wire, headers, nuts and bolts. And then the main core of the project, for this particular project, there was six 4 by 4 LED panels that you soldered and then programmed. And you can make it flash in different colors and do all sorts of fun stuff. You're probably wondering, how do you learn how to build these projects? So all of our instructions are on our website. So you log on, and there are video tutorials, instructions, all step-by-step. And like I was saying earlier, no experience needed. So this is a rector set, if you're familiar with it, for the 21st century, but even better because you're getting a project every month. You're learning new skills every month. We're not just your ordinary box where you get lipstick, makeup, and underwear. You're actually getting projects here where you're learning new skills. And as you can see here, every project has been carefully curated and developed in a way to maximize fun and learning. On our website, we have a community forum where all of our subscribers can ask questions, exchange ideas, and collaborate with one another. So, we have had phenomenal traction. We launched on Kickstarter a year and a half ago. We sold $300,000 worth of product in 60 days from 1,800 customers. And we did that. We reached our goal in 48 hours. Our original goal was to raise $25,000, and we exceeded our goal by 1,200%. After the Kickstarter, we received more <laughs> requests for orders, so we launched an online store. And since then, we've done an additional $250,000 in sales, and that's just new subscription revenue. So we now have 1,200 subscribers from all 50 states. We're in 37 countries, all seven continents, including McMurdo Station in Antarctica and we're growing 35% month over month, and our customer retention is over 95%. So how do we make money? So we, have, uh, we charge a monthly subscription fee. We have four tiers, one, three, six, and 12. We charge between $59 and $89 a month. Our most popular tier is a one-year subscription. 55% of our customers are one-year subscribers. So to put this into perspective for you, we have 1,200 subscribers paying an average price of $65 a month, which equals 
$80,000 in monthly recurring revenue, and that's just starting right now. Our markets, we're going, even though we're in 37 countries, we're focusing on three markets here in the US, DIY electronics, smart toys, and the online education market. The common denominator among these markets are the 25 million parents that have kids between the ages of 6 and 17 who are passionate about technology and want to share that passion with their kids. Get them ahead of the curve at an early age. Get them interested in science, tech, engineering, math, whether it's an educational path or a career path. What's ha what has our marketing strategy been to date? So we launched on Kickstarter, and then we launched our online store. Now we're doing paid acquisition on social media, like Facebook. We're spending a little money. For every dollar we're spending on advertising, we're generating $4 in revenue. We had the honor of winning first place at South by Southwest this past March, and we also had the honor of meeting the CTO of Amazon, Werner Vogels, who questioned why we hadn't been selling on Amazon yet. So, we'll be, <laughs> so we will be doing a partnership with them in the fall. And of course, I'm not going to forget the schools. Shout out to Sarah Holbrook, I know you're in here. <laughs> she was uh, very generous to have us bring 10 robotics kits to the Pinhead Institute here in town. It was an embarrassment for me because these kids built these kits faster than I did. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm the CEO and you guys are beating me. But that just shows how great these kids are. And we want to be able to replicate because this kind of activity in other cities, because if you think about it, each city has their own Pinhead Institute in their own way. What's our competition like? We're not the only ones creating kits, but we stand out by a long shot. We're one of the only companies that involves soldering and programming in their kits. We're also a monthly subscription, so you're not just signing up for one kit. You're getting a project every month, and you're building on that skill set. We also have the online learning platform with the tutorials. So David and I do the, the tutorials. It feels very much like a cooking show, but instead of making cookies, we're making robots. And then lastly, we're building a gigantic community. Imagine in four years, 100,000 Thimblers on our website interacting with one another, learning from one another. That is what's going to make us stand out from any other competitor trying to do this. This is us shortly after we won South by Southwest. We are the perfect team for this, and I'll tell you why. We understand this business like we understand the English language. We are fluent in it, and we live it every day. David, brilliant computer engineer, went to RIT, worked at Intel, IBM, Sun Microsystems, GE. I bring to the table my background in higher education, my love for customer service and public relations, and making education more accessible. Financially, so last year we did half a million in revenue. This year we're projecting to do one million in revenue. And by the next three to four years, we're looking to grow our subscription base to 12,000 subscribers, which equates to about $10 million in annual recovering revenue. And I know we can do better than that. So, my asks for the audience tonight. Please share Thimble with your friends, family, kids. This is a great holiday birthday gift. It's just a great gift in general to teach students the grit skills they're not learning in the classroom. Secondly, we are looking for investors as well. If you want to be part of an amazing journey, team, and we're changing lives, like we would love to talk to you. My co-founders Dave and Jack will be with me on stage to answer any questions. We would love to talk to you. My final note, we're looking to make electronics education inspiring, fun, and accessible. We are the brand between Legos and college physics, and we are the brand that tomorrow's tech leaders will finally look back on as their childhood inspiration. Thank you so much. <laughs>